This is the Catholic Daily Journal for Thursday, January the 10th, 2019. Today is an important day in military history across the centuries. In 49 BC, today is the day that Julius Caesar marched his army across the Rubicon, effectively declaring civil war against the Roman Senate. Caesar didn't march for pride or for wealth. He was actually in the last few days of his term as consul, the governor of Rome. Consuls couldn't be arrested for failing to pay debts, and they couldn't be attacked for any reason. And Caesar knew that the day his term was up, he would be murdered by several loan sharks. And so his only option was to use the chaos of war to defeat his enemies in the Eternal City. Caesar died not long after his march across the Rubicon River, but he's remembered as an audacious warrior and a tactician. On the same day today, 1,727 years later, Thomas Paine published a little pamphlet called Common Sense. The 49-page sermon made an intellectual and moral case for independence from Great Britain and was read by everyone from the intelligentsia to little children. Common Sense lit the fuse uniting colonials against British authority and less than six months after its printing, an even shorter document was published over the signatures of 56 delegates to the Second Continental Congress, declaring that when in the course of human events it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and nature's God entitle them, a decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the causes which impel them to the separation. The Declaration of Independence has a more famous date, but without common sense published today, that declaration could not have had popular support. And today, along with Caesar and Thomas Paine, the Treaty of Versailles took effect in 1920, officially ending World War I. It was signed in June of 1919 and was an all-around bad document. It failed to recognize that Germany wasn't responsible for starting the war. It ignored the role that terrorists played. It imposed embarrassing and economically destructive terms. In hindsight, it set up all the conditions for World War II. And while many military men at the time thought the treatment was too lenient, economists at the time predicted that the Treaty of Versailles would backfire spectacularly, which it did. And today is the birthday of Isaac Jogues, a French Jesuit born in 1607 to a middle-class family in France and sent along with a group of Jesuits to the Iroquois and Huron Indians in modern-day New York and Canada. Jogues learned the language and made real inroads with the Hurons, but the Iroquois made sure he didn't see his 40th birthday. He and his whole troop were killed in 1646 and canonized in 1930 as the North American Martyrs. Here's a poem for today by Ralph Waldo Emerson titled Concord Hymn, sung at the completion of a monument, July 4th, 1837. By the rude bridge that arched the flood, their flag to April's breeze unfurled. Here once the embattled farmer stood and fired the shot heard round the world. The foe long since in silence slept, alike the conqueror silent sleeps. And time the ruined bridge has swept Down the dark stream which seaward creeps. On this green bank by this soft stream We set today a votive stone That memory may their deed redeem When like our sires our sons are gone. Spirit that made these heroes dare To die and leave their children free Bid time and nature gently spare The shaft we raise to them and thee. A Concord Hymn by Ralph Waldo Emerson. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.